Hi, and welcome to LeadHive, CRM software built for small business and a total solution to unlimited red-hot local leads that need your product or service. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the Leads Finder and the Sales Funnel. We're going to start on the dashboard where I'm going to select the Leads Finder. The Leads Finder is incredibly powerful, yet it's very simple to use. First, you can choose from dozens of business categories using this drop-down list. Next, I'll enter a location of interest, then a distance radius to focus on surrounding that location, and finally I can enter some keywords to drill down to specific leads that are of interest to me. For this example, I'm going to look for used car dealers in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Now once I click on Get Leads, it's just a matter of moments before LeadHive gives me results I can begin to put right to use. Just take a look at all the leads it found for me. To make use of these contacts, I need to pull them into my sales funnel, which is really simple. I can pull them all in by clicking the checkbox here at the top of the list and then clicking on Import Selected. Or I can get much more specific by going through the leads and checking off only those of most interest to me. For this example, I'll just import the first five or six on the list here. So now I click on Import Selected and those six leads are imported into my sales funnel. I'll click on the sales funnel next and show you the many options available and how easy they are to use. As you can see here at the top of the sales funnel, I now have those six leads in the system. The options across the top are used to show only those leads that meet certain criteria. For example, sales I'm working, those that are sold, those that are lost or on hold, even those I've transferred to other members of my team, and those I've marked as inactive. As we work through the next several steps, you'll see the numbers in each section change as I make changes to one or more of these six leads we just imported. One of the first things I want to do is add some information to my first lead here because I've made an initial contact. I'm going to click on contact and enter my contact's name. Notice that just by adding this information, this contact has been placed in the working category and that my inactives have dropped from six to five, also because of this change I just made. Next, I'm going to enter a brief level of interest, a quick overview, and then the closing and sold tabs for now I'm going to leave empty. Now, let's take a look at the data you find under the More Info button. This is really handy when you need quick access to all of a lead's information. Just click Hide to hide all those details. I mentioned earlier that you can transfer a lead to another member of your team. Now, at this moment, I haven't added any other team members to my team, but I still can show you how easy it is to make a transfer when you click the Transfer button. LeadHive allows you to set a priority for the contact and then assign it to a team member that would appear on the list here. The Share option is a new feature coming soon that will tie into your social media, so be looking for more in a future video tutorial about Share. The next two buttons are for deals that are lost or that, for whatever reason, you've had to place on hold. Click either one of these buttons and this lead is moved into the appropriate category and that would be reflected in the tabs at the top of the sales funnel, of course. Actually, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, put one deal on hold and one as lost, and then I'll delete one as well to show the effects on the sales funnel. Notice the changes in the top here. I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit now and click on Add Appointment. This is where you have several options for making an appointment, a meeting, a call, a conference, or a to-do. I'm going to set up a call with my contact, enter all the appropriate information for the call, perhaps a description, a date and time, and then if I want a reminder ahead of time. Then I just click Add Appointment, but for this demo I'm going to cancel it for now. Clearly one of the most powerful features of LeadHive is the Leads Finder, where we searched for and then imported these leads. There will be times though, of course, you'll want to enter your own deals and leads, and that's what the Add Deals button is for. Just click on it and enter the necessary information to put that deal in the sales funnel so you can begin to work it with LeadHive. Let's scroll down and have a look at that new lead. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one now though. Finally, you should know that the tabs at the top of the sales funnel are active so that when you click on them, the deals in that category are the only ones displayed in the list below. The one that is active appears in green. So that's the Leads Finder and the Sales Funnel. Powerful, yet really simple. Thanks for watching and thanks for using LeadHive.